Hello, this is Tom Salta, and I'm going to quickly show you how to configure Logic Pro so that it works with Auto Bounce. All you have to do is open up your custom control bar and display settings. You can right click in any open space or hit this drop down arrow and choose custom control bar and display. The settings that you see checked here are all required to use Auto Bounce. You can have additional settings like I like to have, but these are the minimums, so feel free to pause this video and match your control bar configuration window to what you see here. Next, go to configure track header and make sure that volume and pan are turned off as this can cause issues with auto bounce. I find it very useful to store my settings as user defaults. When doing so, I can easily apply user defaults directly there without having to open up the menu every time. The same behavior can happen here with the customized control bar and display settings. All I need to do is apply my defaults and it will ensure that all the settings that are required are going to be there with one click. Something worth noting, however, if you do have a lot of other things turned on like I often do, and your screen isn't large enough or you have your window too small, some of these settings might go invisible. So for example, keep your eye on this little left locators button. If I make this screen smaller and smaller, it'll disappear. Auto bounce will not work if that's not visible. So make sure that your screen is wide enough to actually display those required settings that need to be turned on. Also worth noting, in the mixer, you see augs and output. The window again needs to be wide enough so that those are visible. I can shrink the window down and they do disappear. That's not good. It has to be wide enough. So this will only generally affect people with smaller 13 inch displays. And it's so it's worth noting that you can turn things on and off. The last thing I would like to point out to you is this. This little drop down is very important. You do not have to have it selected. You can have beats and time selected or anything else of your liking. However, in order for auto bounce to work properly, you do need under the custom setting to check the boxes, these four right here, positions, locators, tempo and time signature. Again, you can have others turned on like I like to have them, but those four are the minimum that you need to have checked. Once you do that, you're ready to run Auto Bounce. Now we have opened Auto Bounce and we're ready for the first scan. There is one more setting we do have to change, but you have to scan Logic first so we can access Auto Bounce's preferences. So you take your logic project, you hit scan, and now we'll go through that initial procedure. Once that is done, we now have to add two key commands in logic. One is for select all tracks, and the other is for select soloed tracks. If you go into Auto Bounce's preference, you'll see that we have already, by default, added these two key commands. It's Control Shift Option Command S and Control Shift Option Command D. All right, we do this to try to avoid any other uh, common pre-used key commands in Logic. If you'd like to use those, you can. All you want to do is go here and hit Copy and then go into Logic's key commands right here. I find it pretty easy to just say, type in a search term, select all tracks. And when you do that, it'll come up. Now you hear, you see I have it already assigned, but if I didn't, I would just click there. I would go in here and I would just say, paste. Now, if you want to create your own key command, you can do so. Just create your own key command 
All right? And then what you want to do is copy it and then paste it into Auto Bounce's preferences. Okay? So select all tracks and select solo tracks. My suggestion is to make sure it works first in Logic. Just do it manually. Control, Shift, Option, Command, S. All right, if you see that, that's selecting all the tracks. And then the other key command to test out is select solo tracks. So you can just simply solo a track, make sure a different one is selected. And if you use your key command, I'm doing Control, Shift, Option, Command, D, and you see that your solo track is selected, you know it's working. Now, even though this was a good deal of setup and preparation, you don't have to do this every time. Remember, these preferences will remain both in Auto Bounce and in Logic. And then if you use the Apply Defaults command, Apply Defaults and Apply Defaults here, all of your tracks and your control bar will be set up almost instantly. And that's it. You're ready to use Auto Bounce on all of your Logic projects.